Hey everyone, it's Nathan with Beyond the Tree Line, and today we're talking sleeping bags. A sleeping bag is one of the most crucial pieces of gear any backpacker will purchase, and there's a lot of factors that go into picking the right sleeping bag for you. At the end of the day, two things I hear talk about the most when it comes to choosing a sleeping bag or upgrading your sleeping bag comes down to the temperature rating and down versus synthetic insulation. Starting off with temperature rating. In another video, I chat more about the sleep system as a whole and how temperature is impacted by pairing your sleeping bag with a sleeping pad and a sleeping bag liner as well. So if you're interested in a more comprehensive view on the sleep system, definitely go check that out. I'll leave a link here as well so you can see that. But for the sake of simplicity, talking about sleeping bags and temperature rating, um, all sleeping bags are rated on a standardized testing system that will give you either an EN number or an ISO number. What that number is, is determining the comfort level and the limit level of this particular sleeping bag and what temperatures it's going to be uh, rated for. It's important to note that that comfort and that limit rating are going to be based on the average person. So there's no guarantee that you're going to be comfortable at those temperatures with that particular bag, but it's at least helpful to note. Another important thing to note is that the temperature rating is also based on the presence of a sleeping pad with an R value of around 5.5. If you're curious more about what that means, definitely go check out that other video on the sleep system. I talk a little bit more about how Pairing your sleeping bag with a sleeping pad is really important in determining the overall temperature comfort level. Simply put though, what this means is you're going to want to factor in that temperature rating and give yourself a good buffer when it comes to picking a sleeping bag. I generally am choosing a sleeping bag with a rating that's far below the temperatures I plan to encounter on a trip, just giving me more flexibility and comfort uh, when it comes to temperatures. Moving on to down versus synthetic insulation. Another really important factor when it comes to sleeping bags is the type of insulation you're using. This is going to play a huge role in the price of your sleeping bag, as well as weight, compressibility, and maintenance. Generally speaking, down is going to cost more than synthetic, and here's why. Weight and space. Down is going to offer more insulation while taking up less space and weight in your pack. And where ounces matter, down is going to win every single time. Where down falls short is its ability to handle dampness. Down typically doesn't retain a lot of its insulating properties when it gets wet, and it takes a lot longer to dry out. Synthetic, on the other hand, handles dampness a little bit better. It retains a lot more of that insulation when it gets wet, and it dries out a lot faster. Depending on what conditions you intend to be backpacking in, that's going to be a big factor in determining whether or not you go down or synthetic. One final note I'll mention on sleeping bags is best maintenance practices. I think it's really important to care for your sleeping bag if you want to get the most out of it for the longest period of time. On the trail, always stuff your sleeping bag. Try to avoid folding or rolling methods because those stretch the fabric in unnatural positions, potentially leading to tears in the sleeping bag. They also tend to mess up the distribution of the insulation inside, leading to cold spots in your sleeping bag and more heat loss. For long-term storage, when you're not on the trail, leave your sleeping bag in a dry location where it can breathe. Typically, a big laundry hamper or oversized pillowcase does the job nicely, allowing your bag to kind of breathe, not be compressed over long periods of time, but you can just as easily hang it in a closet or spread it out underneath a bed, as long as you're not compressing that sleeping bag. Compressing it for long periods of time leads to damage in the insulation as well, and overall reduces the life of your sleeping bag. Hopefully this video has given you guys a little deeper peek into sleeping bags, how to choose the right one for you, and understanding a couple maintenance tips. If you guys have any questions or insights from your own experiences, drop me a comment. I always love carrying on the discussion. Thanks again for watching.